Alright. Hey YouTube, this is Uranium Man here. Uh, this is a little follow-up video to my comparison between fluorescent black lighting and modern LED black lights. Uh, specifically, someone had a question about wildfire paint. I'd never heard of this particular paint brand before. I went online and I found a uh, particular site that ships color samples of the wildfire paints for free. So I'll send you a nice sample card. Uh, specifically, these ones are the bright fluorescent colors that will glow under black light. These ones are invisible colors. They will look whitish under normal lighting, like the CFB I have on my lamp over there, but they will change color under UV lighting. So we're going to compare with a LED flashlight first, and then a tube black light, and see what those colors look like. So. Okay, wildfire paint under LED flashlight. Okay, those paint on the top, the solid colors, those are shining nice and bright and fluorescent. The invisible colors, however, well, there is a reaction. They're definitely changing color, but invisible yellow and the invisible orange is like this blah, reddish, pinkish color. The invisible green is green, but it's a muted hideous green. So they're not very strong reaction. Let's try that with a two black light. And hello Dolly. Look at those invisible colors on the black light that uh the third row. The green is green, the red is red, the orange is orange, the yellow is yellow. The invisible clear colors are very distinct. So Obviously, whatever pigments they use for these, the absorption spectrums are a lot more sensitive to true UV light from a long-wave fluorescent UV bulb. So, hope this little uh, demo answers any questions and gives a further example of how uh, LED black lighting is different from traditional tube black lights.